Chicago City Lifers, Facebook buddies, those watching on YouTube, we want to thank you for joining us this evening at Chicago City Life Center. I would like to share some brief announcements with you. Um, this Every Tuesday, we have a men and women's Bible study. Men's Bible study starts at 5 p.m. The women's Bible study starts at 5.30 p.m. We'll love for you to be a part of that. 7 p.m., we have our youth ministry taking place with Pastor Chuck, where students from all over is coming to hear the word of God, put some food in their stomach so that they could also be fed as well physically and naturally. So if you have young people who would like to be a part of that, they could come right here to the church at 7 p.m. Wednesday, we have our Zoom prayer meeting at 7 p.m. We would love for you to be a part of that as well. On Friday, our Taking It to the Streets has been suspended because the weather is starting to get cold. Um, taking It to the Streets was not just a Chicago City Life Center thing. This was a church thing. So um, we're going to meet with some of the pastors and see how are we going to go about continue to pray for our community. On Sundays at 1030 a.m., we have Sunday school class um, taught by Mike Drake. We'd love for you to be a part of that if you want to grow more in the Word of God. And then on Sunday at 1130 a.m. we have the word of god where it's going to be preached um celebrating what god has done um and what he's going to do throughout the week so we'll love for you to be a part of that as well also on november 20th we will be having our drive-by thanksgiving giveaway this is the opportunity where we'll be able to bless 300 families um, with groceries for their Thanksgiving meal. And we would love for you to be a part of that. Um, some of you have been given sacrificially, faithfully over, the, um, over these past couple of months. We want to thank you. But this is an opportunity where we could really impact families with the love of God. So we would love for you to be a part of that. If you're able to give, you could give through ChicagoCityLifeCenter.org or you could give through our Givelify app and you could just look for Chicago City Life Center in the worship place. And we would love for you to give um, during that time as well. I thank you guys for your faithfulness um, over this season. God bless you. Hey, I just want to share a brief word with you right now. With all the unrest and all the things that's taking place in our country, I believe that we have to remain on mission. Um, if you wasn't here this past Sunday, I preached a message about the mission that God has sent us believers on mission. The mission is possible to share the word of God with those who are lost and those who are broken. So in our country right now, there's so much despair. There's so much anger. There's so much division. But I believe that God has called us, the body of Christ, to bring unity in this time of divisiveness. And I just pray that we will remember the mission that we are on. We are on a mission to let Jesus Christ be known all over the world. So my prayer tonight is this. Could you remember that you are on a mission? And your mission is to make Jesus famous, not to make a president famous, not to make a country famous, not to make an organization famous, not to make a church famous, not to make a man famous, to make Jesus Christ known. So if you have your Bibles, could you go with me to the book of Acts chapter 14? And I just want to read about a man who was on a mission. Amen. A man who was on a mission that regardless of what happened to him, he was on a mission and that he was going to tell people about what Christ has done in his life and what Christ is going to do in their life. Amen. So if you have your Bibles, let's go to Acts 14 and I'm going to pick up at verse 19 and I'm going to read to verse 20. And it reads, then some Jews came from Antioch and Iconium and won the crowd over. They stoned Paul, dragged him outside the city thinking he was dead. But after the disciples had gathered around him, he got up and went back into the city. The next day, he and Barnabas left for Darby. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, even as Paul recognized that he was on a mission. I pray that we would have that same fervency to understand that we are on a mission for you. So, Lord, I pray that you would speak to our hearts and our minds tonight, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, to understand the purpose that you have created us for in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So as we read in the scripture, it said that some of the folks dragged Paul out. 
after Paul was preaching about Jesus Christ, that someone came and won the crowd over to let them say, you know, believe that what Paul was talking about was not true. And as we could see in this scripture verse, in this passage, Paul was dragged out, was stoned, and was left for dead. But what I love about this passage is that Paul did not stay in that place where he didn't um, just got upset and say, you know what, God failed me, God left me. But because of the relationship that Paul had with God and because Paul knew what his mission was, the Bible says that after the disciples gathered around him, Paul got back up and went back into the city. I'm here to tell you tonight that we have to remain steadfast on the mission that God has called us to. As believers in Jesus Christ, it says that we are all in the, min in the ministry, that we are all in the ministry of reconciliation, that our job is to draw men back to God, that we are to share Christ with um, other people. So my prayer is this, that even as we have this unrest that's going on because of the election, that we would remain on mission, that our mission will not become um, distracted by who's supposed to be the president and who's not supposed to be the president. As believers in Jesus Christ, we have to remain on mission. I hear more people talking about the elections than they are about Christ. I'm going to say that one more time. I hear more people speaking about the elections than they are speaking about Christ. Let Christ be the one that's coming off the tip of our tongues, that Christ is coming off our lips. Christ is the one that's going to bring healing and deliverance. The reality is, regardless of the, who the president of the United States is, they're not going to be the one that's going to set the captives free. Only Jesus Christ is going to set the captives free. So my prayer tonight is this. Don't get caught up. Remember your mission. Remember you are on mission. Go out today and begin to share Christ with folks. And I know, I understand that the mission may seem impossible, but I love it that the word tells us that nothing is impossible for God, even in this climate even through the persecution, even through all the things that's going on. This is the time that Christ is able to be glorified. So I pray this, that we would remain on mission here at Chicago City Life Center, regardless of who the president is of the United States, the work is still going to continue to go forth. We have no time here at Chicago City Life Center to get caught up in arguments and different things that's going to distract us from our mission. There's people out there who needs to hear the word of God. There's people out there who need to set, feel the love of God. And God has called us here at Chicago City Life Center to go do that. But the reality is that he didn't just call us to do that. He called us all to do that amen so i just pray that we will not be in fear that we will not be in despair who's going to be the president of the united states the reality is this jesus christ is on the throne and he is king alone so let us put our trust in christ let's put our hope in christ and not get so caught up on what's going on in our political climate right now christ is the one that's going to deliver people so i pray that the holy spirit would just give you the unction to go out there, give you the eyes to see, the ears to hear that there's people out there who needs to be set free in Jesus' name. So my prayer tonight, let's go out there tonight. Let's go out. Let's go share with folks. Before you talk, start talking about the election, lift up the name of Jesus Christ because he's the one who's going to bring true deliverance to this atmosphere. So I just want to thank you guys for joining us tonight and i just want to pray for us that we will not get distracted by civilian affairs when we have a kingdom a kingdom that's going to come a kingdom that's going to come and that christ's will will be done here on earth as it is in heaven so let us pray father i thank you for tonight I thank you for my brothers and sisters, Lord God. I understand that there's some things going on in our political atmosphere. But Lord, I just pray that we would remember who kingdom we belong to. So Father, I pray for the body of Christ tonight that we will not sit here and wrestle against one another, but that we would work together to let you, you be known in this community. So Lord, I just ask that you would have your way, that you would speak to us, that you would speak through us, Lord God and that you would be glorified in all that we do. I thank you, Lord God, and I praise you for the goodness 
that you're going to do even through this situation, even though it may look bad, even though it may look pitiful. Father, you're going to use this situation for your glory. So I thank you, Lord God, for your grace and your mercy. Holy Spirit, speak to our hearts now, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us tonight.